ASNR 2016, the International Exhibition for National Security and Resilience in Abu Dhabi, the UAE company Nimer Automotive presents two variants of the Ashban class family of 4x4 armored vehicle in police and SWAT team variant. The company is now able to provide multi-role 4x4 armored vehicle. The Ashban class of 4x4 vehicles provide a multi-purpose platform for all military requirements at 9 ton capacity from utility vehicles to fully protected patrol vehicles. A universal 4x4 chassis is used for a common logistic footprint to the user to minimize the burden of the training, maintenance and spare parts management. All vehicles in the Ashban class can be protected and specific protected models are included for crew survivability with fully tested and certified cabins. The Organization for Joint Armament Cooperation, OCAR, notified the Lithuanian Ministry of National Defense that all six OCAR member states in the Board of Supervisors Belgium, France, Germany, Italy, Spain and the United Kingdom gave consent for Lithuania to join its boxer program. The expertise of the international organization will help Lithuania implement the acquisition of the boxer infantry fighting vehicles efficiently. Joining the program is one of the key steps as Lithuania seeks to equip two battalions of the land forces with the boxer 8x8 infantry fighting vehicle. On December 11, 2015, Artec with the Boxer vehicle has been declared preferred bidder by the Lithuanian State Defense Council for the Lithuanian Infantry Fighting Vehicle program. Boxer has been selected as the preferred vehicle amongst 10 offers. From 2017 to 2020, in total 88 vehicles with a medium caliber turret are requested by the Lithuanian Army. The procurement is foreseen to be managed with IAOCAR, with Lithuania joining the only true European vehicle program, the Boxer. <music> Russia is planning to modernize 150 T-72 main battle tanks to the T-72B3M version also called T-72B4. According to Russian military engineers, the upgraded T-72 main MBT will be comparable to the more advanced T-90, but with much lower cost. The T-72B3M will be upgraded with a lot of new components, including the new Canon 2A46M5 125mm smallbore gun as well as the new Sosna U sniping system paired with the 1A40 fire control system. The tank will also receive a new ballistic computer to increase accuracy. The T72 B3M will be equipped with an independent panoramic site for the tank's commander with its own thermal imaging device. The tank will also get the new relict explosive reactive armor. It will replace the old Contact 5 system and is expected to be two times more effective. US company Renteon founded, developed and built a new gallium nitrate GAN power active electronically scanned area main antenna for the combat proven Patriot air defense missile system. Renteon exhibits its prototype Patriot full scale GAN based AESA radar for the first time in the company's booth at the Association of the United States Army Global Force Symposium and Exposition in Hudsville, Alabama from 15 to 17 March. Renteon's GAN based AESA Patriot radar will work with future open architecture such as the Integrated Air and Missile Defense Battle Command System. It retains backwards compatibility with the current Patriot Engagement Control Station and is fully interoperable with NATO. According to the press agency Reuters, 
the German government reportedly approved several arms export deals with countries in the Middle East, including delivery of 23 H145 light utility watercraft from Airbus helicopters to Saudi Arabia, according to an economic ministry letter seen by Reuters on Monday, March 14, 2016. The Gulf states announced on June 23, 2015, it will purchase 23 Airbus H145 helicopters for a total of $500 million. The H145, previously known as the HC145, is a light twin-engine helicopter typically used for emergency services or border patrols. A military version is also used by the US Army. The US-based defense company Boeing has been awarded a $900 million contract for CH-47F Chinook heavy lift helicopters. Under this contract, Boeing will produce lot 14 for 27 renewed helicopters and 12 new built helicopters. The US Department of Defense announced on its website on Tuesday, March 15, 2016. The CH-47 Chinook is a US twin-engine tandem water heavy lift helicopter. The Chinook first floor was in 1962 and the CH-47F upgrade was completed in 2006. The pre-production batch of Mikoyan MiG-35 multipurpose fighter jets will start undergoing flight tests this year. CEO of the MiG Aircraft Manufacturing Corporation, Sergei Korotkov, said on Thursday, March 17, 2016. According to Korotkov, the corporation is carrying our R&D works on the plane under the contract signed with Russia Defense Ministry. Deputy Defense Minister Yuri Borisov said earlier that Russian servicemen were expected to receive 30 MiG-35 fighter jets under the 2020 State Armament Program. Part of the delivery of the frame Languedoc to the French Navy last week, Navy recognition had the chance to cover some demonstration involving the AQM Rib and the NH-19 NFH Cayman helicopter. Here is our footage taken from the frame Languedoc as we were out at sea. AQM is the new RHIB of the French Navy Special Forces, the famous Commando Marine. Designed and produced by Zodiac Mill Pro, the Ecume is 9.30 meters long and is powered by two diesel inboard engines that were designed specifically for the purpose by Volvo Penta. With a maximum cruising displacement of 7 tons, the Ecume ribs are able to undertake long distance raids carrying 12 fully equipped Navy commandos at speeds in excess of 40 knots. It may operate in coastal area as well as in the high seas, even in adverse weather as you can see in our footage. Designed to replace the Lynx and Super Frolon fleets, the NH-90 NFH helicopters ordered by the French Navy carry out maritime search and rescue, anti-terrorism and anti-submarine warfare missions. In total, 27 NH-90 NFH have been ordered by the French Navy. Both the Acum and NH-90 NFH are intended to routinely deploy with the Akiten class of multi-mission frigates. On March 16, 2016, the French Navy bid farewell to the Super Etendard Modernisé or SEM with the last catapult launch for this aircraft type. As per the tradition, a large part of the Charles de Gaulle crew gathered on the flight deck and the catapult officer launched the last SEM with a saber in his right hand. Close to 50 SEMs were delivered to the French Navy. Based on the Super Etendard, itself based on the Etendard 4M, the Super Etendard Modernisé was constantly upgraded by the French Navy through its life. It was used for only ship, strike, reconnaissance and nuclear strike missions. During the Charles de Gaulle midlife refit for refueling and overall, all French Navy naval aviation personnel will be trained on the Rafale M 
an all-strike fighter squadron will operate the rafal m.